I want to turn now to CTV's Michel Boyer. He has been listening from Ottawa along with the rest of us. Michel, we learned that talks are underway between Canada, the United States, and China. And we heard an important and tough question there at the end. This government has said mm -hmm. that having these men released, the, the two Michaels released after 975 days, has been their top priority, but their efforts have failed so far. What did we hear from the Foreign Affairs Minister today on that? Right. Also important for Canadians to realize and to know that Dominic Barton spent three weeks in the United States, in Washington, meeting with top officials. And I think it's really important to remember why we're in this situation in the first place. Three players, the United States, China and Canada, and four bargaining chips. The real key here is Meng Wanzhou, and then, of course, there are the three men that Canada is saying have been detained, now charged, uh, and convicted in some cases, uh, uh, and they are, they are currently in prison. So what we're hearing now are hints about what is happening in the background about conversations, and the key is Meng Wanzhou. She is going through the extradition process to the United States. That is happening in Canada. In fact, it's happening uh, over the next couple of weeks. So the, the timing is, is critical here. And even Dominic Barton is saying uh, that they are all linked. So what happens? Uh, Meng Wanzhou goes through the extradition process here in this country. Will it move forward or not? If it doesn't move forward, uh, that could change things for uh, the two Michaels, as you as you mentioned, Marcia. Um, you know, if she goes to the United States, that could mean another outcome. Are we talking about a prisoner swap here? Uh, th these are things that are likely being discussed. These are options that are on the table. But Canada has said time and time again that the judicial system is independent. Meng Wanzhou is going through that process. Uh, and then we're seeing the, the process in China unfold mm -hmm. at the same time. Dominic Barton saying it's no, it's no surprise that uh, Michael Kovrig and Michael Spavor, or, or excuse me, Michael Spavor and Mr. Schellenberg face uh, sentencing now. Yeah, the Chinese court statement said that Michael Spavor will be deported, but um, the foreign affairs minister, mm -hmm. along with the rest of us, is still seeking... Um, details about what that means from Beijing, whether or not that's at the end of his 11-year sentence or not. Uh, just quickly, because we do have to get to some other news, Michelle, we did mm -hmm. hear from Michael's, uh, Michael Spavor's family. What did he say? What did they say today in reaction um, to the sentence being handed down? A great amount of gratitude uh, to the support that they have received from the international community. If we can bring that statement up on the screen for our viewers uh, to read, it is rather lengthy, saying that they've been informed about the verdict uh, out of Dangdong. They disagree with the uh, charges. They realize that uh, this is the next step in the process to bring Michael home, and they're going to continue to support him through this challenging time. Uh, they go on to say that Michael's life passion has been to bring different cultures together through tourism and events, saying that the situation has not dampened but strengthened his passion. So his family still uh, still hopeful going on to say once again they thank the government uh, for all the advocacy for the release of Michael and they're uh, endlessly grateful, Marcia. Michelle Boyer, thank you so much.